What's going on everybody? I'm DJ Sean from Astralis R6 and in today's video I'm going to explain how to play Twitch and this includes the buffs that they've had to her, when to bring her, and also her loadout and the best thing to run on her. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video to see in-game examples as usual of me playing her. Who knows, it can help you a little bit when you're playing her in-game. And also be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Astralis R6 channel if this helps you out. But as usual, a short rambling from me before we start it, let's get right into the video. All right, so usually I will show what type of outfits I have for the characters, but my Twitch is looking kind of dry right now. The only thing that looks goaded is this headpiece right here. Got a head did a little bit, you know, in the little ponytail. We see you, we see you. But the outfit is pretty much like militant. We gonna kick in the door and we here to win this game. But I guess Twitch ain't really feeling it like that. So for the loadout, she is pretty diverse. I'm gonna start with the gadgets here because she used to have recharges, if I remember correctly, and they switched those out for smoke grenades. But I run the Claymore because nine times out of 10, I'm droning and trying to get util off the wall. So I'm pretty sure y'all want to do that too. Run the Claymores and have it watch her flank while you're on the drone so you don't get flanked heavily. So that's what I would run here. But if you're not really concerned about the flank and you're more for execution from plants and stuff like that, smoke grenades is definitely your go-to for that type of situation. Or just to burn the ADSs for like, you know, to get your Mavericks grenade in there if you want to destroy stuff off the wall. The smokes can burn the ADSs for you. But that's pretty much the only thing I really run on her is the Claymore. So now we're going to go to secondaries. I know we're doing this in a bit of reverse order this this video, but I wanted to get like the breach charge thing out the way because I feel like she should have breaches in all honesty. Because just being able to go for stuff with your Twitch drone is kind of annoying, especially if they have a mozzie or a mute. It's definitely annoying. So being able to blow the stuff with the breach charge from like top floors or second floors or save your own cafe and they're in kitchen breach charge on the mining floor. That stuff it was, you know, it, it can make her a little bit more efficient, but I don't know. That may be too OP. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. That might be a little OP, but that's just what I think. So the secondary, she has a revolver. It does heavy damage and she has a P9. Now me, since I need like a quick switch two guns and I kind of like the fast fire rate guns and you know, a revolver only has like, you know, six bullets in it. So you, I'm Mr. With them shots, you know, I like to spray a little bit. So I'm rocking with the P9. That's usually what I rock. Me with the P9, it's not really like heavy damage gun, but I'm able to get more shots. It's more forgiving for me to use the handgun. So that's why I run that. Now we gonna go to the primaries. Another shotgun. I do not look, I don't know. Like I said in my last video, I don't know who be running these shotguns, all right? But if you wanna have a little fun, Twitch has a shoddy for you to do that, so. But I don't touch this at all. I don't even think you could pay me to touch this shotgun, no, honestly. If I see you with Twitch and the shoddy, I'm gonna automatically think you trolling, so. No, 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 that ain't me. So the better options, at least for me, are the DMR and the F2. I don't really use the DMR, like I said, you know, I'll be whiffing a lot, so you can see, I don't even have this outfit yet. I've never used this gun ever in my history of playing Twitch. So this is definitely not me. Now, this right here, the F2, the F2 is a monster. They've nerfed the recoil a lot. As you can see, the damage, 37 damage compared to the 69 is, you know, it's, it's all right. It's okay. When you shooting people, it only takes one headshot to kill and see. So that's all you need. And you see me, I got the black ice, black ice on the F2 with the white attachments and the icy cap, bro. It all comes together. It all comes together, baby. Yeah. So the F2 is primarily what I want to run on Twitch because I just like rifles. I'm a rifle person. So if you see me on any operator with a shotgun or anything like that, DMR, I'm definitely going to run a rifle. I don't even really play Dokubi like that because her primary is a DMR. So, and the same thing with a Rooney, I run a P10 on her. But for the F2, I run a 1.5 scope because I'm blind and I need to see things. The flash hider is, I put that on recently, but usually I used to run a muzzle break on it because it just felt better, but I'm trying out the flash hider now. And it does kick a little bit more in my opinion. So maybe the muzzle break might be better for y'all to use, but I'm gonna need a little bit more data on this flash hider. So right now I'm gonna say y'all should run the muzzle break in all honesty. She only has one grip and that's a vertical grip. So y'all definitely need to put this on y'all guns when y'all run them. And like I said before, the black ice, the gray, the icy cat, this might not be y'all, but this is definitely me. That black ice and that icy cat charge just come together too good on them. So that's usually what I run. 
But that's it for her loadout. I'm going to go ahead and explain how to use her now. So recently in Crystal Guard, there have been some buffs to Twitch. And in all honesty, that makes her very viable as she used to be because a lot of people used to use her as an entry. Well, maybe people still do use her as an entry in all honesty because the F2 is that good. But we're going to go over the buffs just in case anybody didn't know them. So now she has three drones. What she used to have is just she was spawning with her shock drone. And that would be the drone that you got in prep phase and you would only have one drone if that one got shot so so after the buff she now has three drones which is great in all honesty because i believe that siege is an intel heavy game so the more intel that you can gather with these drones or when you have a yana or playing a jackal that's why jackals banned because people don't want to get tracked by this man any type of intel you can gather for your team to let them know where people are and you can get those frags is crucial to me and see so she gets three drones two shock drones one regular drone the shock drone can jump the shock drones projectiles was changed from a taser to a laser that means it deals five hp damage they upped it from one it has infinite range and it does not disable electronic devices like it used to disable the maestro cam but you can't do that anymore because it's a laser now it's not electric uh, it's not an electric drone which they probably should have changed the name of that because shock drone is anyway and the shock drone also has a larger bullet collision and that means you should have an easier time hitting everything that you're trying to destroy on the enemy side any util that you're trying to destroy may that be a camera cap can trap bandit batteries k charges things of that nature you should have an easier time hitting them now than when you played her before crystal guard so that's all for the buffs that came out for twitch so we went over the loadout and we went over the recent buffs to the twitch drone so now i'm going to explain when you should bring twitch in your team comp but before i do that we're going to get into today's video sponsor today's video is brought to you by root insurance with root insurance you can get a rate primarily based on how you drive good drivers can save up to 900 dollars a year with roots Hey man, the holidays coming up and you might want to have a few extra dollars in your pocket. So be sure to download the Root app today and see how much you could be saving with Root. And you could save hundreds, so be sure to get it. And also be sure to grab the Disrupt Gaming skin from the store. It's not going to be there much longer. As many of you know by now, Astralis has acquired Disrupt Gaming. So if you want this rare skin, be sure to grab it while you can, because it's going to be gone soon. The skins are available for the R4C or the L8. So go ahead and snatch those up before they disappear. But with that being said... Let's get back to the video. So the times that I would bring Twitch is realistically when you're pushing anything where you have to get util off of a wall specifically, because a lot of people like to run Jaeger ADSs. They'll put three ADSs on the drone hole or something like that. So Maverick can't it, or they'll put three ADSs in front of the wall, like things like that. So Twitch is perfect to deal with those types of things. And not even if you're only pushing a wall, if you're pushing something where somewhere where a site has a window like CO office and consulate or meeting room and consulate anywhere where they have like util there to stop a push or stop from getting aided twitch is perfect for that so if you're pushing the wall you can get the bandit batteries off the wall cage charges wall denial anything like that off the wall you can really bring her in any situation when you're trying to get util any use any team that's util heavy if you can get your drone in there they're gonna have a hard time holding down sites with all the util destroyed but just like she's strong in destroying util she has some strong counters too so like things for instance if a mute jammer is on the drone hole you won't be able to get through it mute jammer on the stairs any type of area where it's muted you probably won't be able to get through it and also if there's a mozzie on the board and there's a pest in the area it's going to be able to take over your twitch drone like usual so nothing's changed in that nature but what I usually do is if I see a pest on the door or something, I'll slightly go to the left or the right of the door to like slide my drone a little bit in there so that like the left or right shoulder of my drone is in the door. And nine times out of ten, you should be able to see the pest if they have it on the door because a lot of people like to put it on the left or right of doorways. So you can actually destroy those with your laser and then be able to just drone the site out effectively. I've done that multiple times. I don't know, maybe it's my rank that people are in that the pests aren't really placed that efficiently, but just look at the area that you're in and scan it effectively to see if there's any drones in there before you push it and you should be fine. Whenever you need something to get util from anywhere, definitely Twitch is the answer to that. It's just a matter of how the other team is playing. Are they muting these areas? can you get your drone through them and there's also other ways like you can drone through other areas of the map and get your drone to the site effectively so there's also that so again i know i rambled a little bit 
you know i'm, I'm kind of getting all over the place but when the brinker is when the team is playing heavy util or if you just need to frag because she's a good fragging character too I know her gun has a lot of recoil and a lot of people can't really control it. I know they, I've seen people complain about the recoil kicking, but if you can learn how to control the recoil with Twitch, she can be a fragging monster, I'm telling you. So she is the all around good pick to bring in any situation. So I've explained she's frag heavy. I've explained the buffs that they've done to Twitch to make the laser and all that and the shock drone being able to jump. Now it's time to show y'all some in-game examples of how I will play Twitch and hopefully y'all will be able to take this in your games and play her more effectively and start winning some more games. But that's it for me as far as the commentary. Be sure to like and subscribe if this video helped you out and also be sure to check out some other stuff we got on the channel. You know, we study trying to make people better. So if there's something you don't know or something you want to expand upon, be sure to check the channel out. We might have something for you. Astralis, as usual, thanks for having me. That's it for me for the commentary. Good luck to y'all on your ranked games. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Let's run this in-game footage, baby. Yeah, we got to help the people. Have a good one, y'all. Peace. Watch him shoot my toy drone. Watch him. Ain't this about to watch this. He did. Uh, I think he's about to actually. Oh my god. Huh? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna swing. You ready? You ready? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got the wall nose. Uh the stuff on the wall over here. Oh! Class oh no in the hallway. P4, P4, P4! In the hallway! Oh, hold on nose. We might be in some trouble. Hold on, it's just us. Oh pulsing pulsing CC! P4. P4. Pulse? He tightened the corner. Tighten the corner. Tighten the corner. You gotta help him. You gotta help him. Other side now. You just gotta get off. We got the drone for you, bro. Yeah. Okay, wait, hold on. Did he put another cade here? No, he didn't. We can get the wall. I sure can. Yeah, you can't do Get destroyed, 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 destroyed. I can't, I can't. It doesn't work, bro. Yo, no, so I'm... <laughs> Y'all good? I'm gonna good? push the main door, bro. I'm going in the main door. Oh, office door. It's a uh, around you. That's fine. You hit one on the camera. Can't be the bomb. Run through it. Oh! No, see? Oh, thank, oh, you. thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Yo, go crazy, no. That's go the Goku crazy. and Vegeta dynamic yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, Look at that's how Saiyans work. Dynamic duo. Hey, was, was he whiffing?